hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by thank you for the love if this is your first time here you're highly welcome and to my old subscribers i say a big thank you to you today i'll be showing you how i made this a-line ruffle dress for my daughter i used like a quarter yard of duchess satin and a quarter yard of taffeta and also maybe approximately about two yards of two pretty simple beginner friendly if this is what you're interested in then keep on watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel subscription is free guys let's quickly get into the video so guys to make this um, a-line dress i'll be making use of duchess satin as this duchess satin i think this is two yards but i'll be making use of only one yard I don't I won't even finish one yard and I have my net here my tool this tool is 10 yards in length and 16 inches and the, the width of the tool sorry is 10 yards and the length is 16 inches so this is the tool I'll be making use of and I'll still be making use of this tool this one it comes as um six inches the width of this one is six inches and I also need bias tape and short zipper. So now making use of a four year wood measurement. So now I'm going to put my fabric or fold into two. And to do that, I will need the bust measurement. I'm going to be cutting the front first and then I will use the front to cut out the back. So to do that, I'm going to be using the bust measurement the bust measurement i'm working with is 22 i'm going to divide 22 by 4 and i will have five and a half inches so that five and a half i'm going to add one and a half inch for a little bit of ease that's that will make it seven inches so i'll make sure that my fabric is up to seven so what i have here is about eight and a half so now the shoulder to the half length where the net is going to start from is 13 inches so the abnormal body's measurement as a shoulder to where her ball gown will start from normally is 10 inches but now i've added three inches to it because i want it to drop so that would be um 13 inches plus half inch sewing allowance i'm going to mark 13 and a half so now on this 13 and a half i'm going to insert the shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement is 10 inches i'm going to divide 10 by 2 i'll have 5 inches i'm going to mark it next thing i'm going to mark the armhole the armhole measurement is five and a half so i'm going to mark six inches reason being i'm going to still take half inch away for the shoulder slope so i'm just going to mark six inches so now the neck width i'm working with is 2.5 and the neck depth I'll be working with will be 3 inches so I'm going to connect the lines together to form a round neck and then I'm going to take half inch away from my armhole for my shoulder slant so now on this point here I'm going to mark my bust measurement remember I said the bust is 5.5 I'm just going to mark 5.5 .5 plus one and a half inch for the ease. Now I'm going to connect this one and a half here to just form like an A shape. Now I'm also going to form the armhole curve. I'm just going to connect the other slant to the armhole. Now I have this as my front for this i'm going to go ahead and cut it now i'm going to use this to cut the back i'm just going to fold the fabric again so for the back i'll be adding one inch for my zipper allowance so for the back i'm going to come up by one inch or one and a half inch i'm going to come up by one and a half inch for the neck I'm going to cut it down. I'm going to open this up. 
so now i have the upper part so now i'm going to take this to my machine now and i'm going to join it on the shoulder I'm going to join it with half an inch on the shoulder on both shoulder so guys i went ahead to join it on the shoulder and just close the sides next thing i'm going to take my bias and use my bias to run around the armhole and the neckline so guys i'm done using bias for the neck and the armhole and this is it so i'm just going to measure the hole of the bottom so i have 32 inches so i'm just going to cut out 40 inches of this taffeta fabric so 40 inches by 8 inches that's what i'm going to um cut out why am i cutting this because I don't want to just gather the line and tool and put on top. I want to rest on top of the lining and I don't want the lining to be too bulky. So since it's 32 inches, I'm just adding extra 8 inches to it. So cut out 14 inches by 8 inches. And I don't want to use dutches because dutches have more weight than taffeta. So I'll be using taffeta as my lining. So this is it. I'm just going to fold under with one inch or with maybe even half inch. I'll just fold it like so and then I will gather this up to be 32 inches. Even if you don't want to gather, you can just do small pleats on it so that it will be 32 inches like the bottom, like the so that it will be equal so i'll just go over and run the bottom now and gather here to be 32 inches so guys i'm done doing the gathers on this so i'm going to take this one that is 16 inches by 10 yards and i'm going to fold it into two like so i don't want to cut it i'm going to fold it by the time i fold it into two, i will have eight inches so i'm just going to go ahead now and gather it i'll gather it to be 32 inches I'm going to gather it to be 32 inches and then I'll place it on top of the lining once I'm done. So guys, I'm done doing the gathers and I didn't use the whole thing yet honestly because I feel like it's too much. And you can see this is the length of what I've gathered and I still have this left. I still have all of this left so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. Meanwhile, for those that want to know how many yards I gathered, so I can't tell you now, but let me measure it and I will know how many. Or well, let me measure the parts that I didn't gather so that I'll be able to know how much I gathered. So I gathered about, about six yards because what I have here is a remaining four yards. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. Now this one that's like six yards that I gathered, I'm even still going to double it. So it's like what I'm sewing on top will be eight inches into four places. Eight inches by six yards into four places. So this is it. You can see this is two joined together. One, two, and another two joined together. I'm going to put it on top so that you see that it's enough. You can see it's even more than even more than enough. So now I'm going to sew it on top of the lining. I'm going to go ahead now and sew it on top of this lining. So guys, I'm done sewing it on top of the lining. So now I'm going to take it and I'm going to press it on top I'm just going to press it on top maybe like one inch I'm going to come up by one inch and just sew this one on top of it like this to the other end so guys I'm done sewing it like so so next thing I'm going to take this one Now this one is six inches, so you can cut your own tool to be six inches. 
I'm going to fold it into two and then I'm going to gather it on the middle line. So guys, I'm done doing the ruffles. I ended up using the six inches width. I didn't fold it again though because I found that it was too small. So, and I made it four layers. You can see one, two, three, four. Four layers. So I cut out four stripes of six inches width and then I gathered the middle. So now, I'm just going to go ahead now and place it. So I'm going to leave one inch, which is the zipper line. After one inch, I'm going to place this on top of this, this part here. I'm just going to go ahead and place it on top. Sew it on the middle, like so, to the other end. So guys, I'm done fixing the ruffles. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close it at the back and insert this short zip and then I'm just going to go ahead and embellish it with some flowers around here. So guys, this is me just embellishing the dress and I just used my needle and thread to tack it down. This is uh, just in case I want to remove the flower, I can take it out. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.